Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. This is week 6 assignment of ethical hacking course. So let's see the solutions. Guys, I hope every solution is almost correct. But if, uh, if there are any changes to be made, uh, please mention it in the comment section. So before the final submission day, once again, go to the comment section to see if there are any changes available. I will update in the comment section only. So let's see the first question. Which of the following statement is true for masquerade attack? So for first question, the answer is option D. In this attack, the attacker pre pretends as a legitimate entity. So mark option D as correct answer for first question. And moving on to the second one. Which of the following statement is or are true? So for second question, actually there are two solutions. So first question answer D. And for second question, there are two solutions. The first one is option B. In private encryption, private key encryption, a single key is used by sender and receiver. And the other one is option C. So mark B and C. Moving on to the third question. Consider the following statement. The first one, in symmetric cryptography, the security depends on secrecy of the key. And second statement, in symmetric key cryptography, the security depends on encryption of decryption algorithm. So for third question, the correct answer is first option only. Guys, only the first option is mentioned in the lectures and there is no mentioning about the second one. So I am going with first option only. And moving on to the fourth question. Twenty-five parties want to exchange messages securely. The number of distinct key required by a symmetric encryption algorithm and public key encryption technique is as follows. So for symmetric key algorithm, n into n minus 1 by 2 is the formula, right? So when you do this, 25 into 24, 25 minus 1, 24 by 2, that means 300. And for public key encryption, n into 2 is equals 50, right? So I think answer is option E. Moving on to fifth one. How will be the plain text uh, let us see? You? converted into the ciphertext I mean ciphertext is converted into into the plain text so this is the ciphertext and we have to decipher in, it into the plain text which of the following is the plain text for this word such that the secret key is 4 such that each letter is replaced by the kth next letter that means fourth next letter so we so for this I have got answer as option B. So I am going with option B. Sixth one. In data encryption standard, longer plain text are processed into dash bit blocks. So for sixth question the answer is 64. 64 is the answer. So type 64. Moving on to the seventh question. The effective key lengths used in AES encryption algorithms are. So for seventh question, there are three solutions for this. The first one is option B, 128 bit. And 
ne second one is option C 192 bit and the other one is the remaining one option D 256 bit so mark B C and D moving on to the eighth question for decryption using public key cryptography dash is used so for eighth question the probable answer is option a receivers public key receivers public key and moving on to the ninth question so for eighth, eighth question a, a is the answer and moving on to ninth one which of the following statement is or are true so for ninth question i have got two solutions the first one is option a the security of rs algorithm is dependent on prime factorization problem and this next one is option d symmetric encryption approaches are faster than asymmetric one so the probable answers for ninth question are option a along with option d and moving on to the final question of this week that is 10th question which of the following techniques cannot be used for message authentication so for 10th question the answer is option D SHA-0 SHA-0 so I am marking option D guys if you want to suggest me any change in the solution you can do that in the comment section so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends guys if you uh, for you ethical hacking is a subject and a compulsory subject to pass then if you are, if you and your classmates are interested in uh, viewing the membership videos regarding exam preparation you can message me in the comment section so if you are at least 20 to 30 members i can do exam preparation videos with just 89 per month only so no one will provide for that least price so as for the student offer i am giving you just for 89 rupees per month you can get all the subjects that i make there are other five subjects so you can get all the subjects just for 89 rupees only so if you are at least 20 to 30 members as classmates you can message in the comment section so we can do that as per our purpose so until the next video goodbye thank you